is a case that made national headlines and the trial is officially underway now here in Albuquerque. Five people accused of conspiring to commit a terrorist act. Reporter Andres Valle is live after he was in federal court for opening statements in the Taos compound case. Doug Shelley, what I can tell you is that no cameras are allowed inside the courtroom, but what I can tell you is the defense is really pushing for the jury to basically believe that this was just a normal Muslim family who just wanted to live remotely in northern New Mexico. Now, we're showing you a video of what happened back in 2018. Uh, when police raided a compound north of Taos, when they got there, they say they found 11 children deprived of food and living in poor conditions. Now, during opening statements, Siraj Wahaj, who's on trial for conspiracy to commit terrorism, played a video showing his three-year-old son, Abdul Ghani. Now, Abdul was found dead on the compound when police raided the area. They also found guns and ammunition. Wahaj is representing himself in the case, but during his opening statement, the judge called him argumentative and asked that he say what he was saying for closing statements. Now, the other three people in the courtroom did have representation, and Jenny Lavelle took a plea deal with prosecutors back in February in exchange to testify in the trial. Now, after opening statements wrapped up, prosecutors did call out the first witness to the stand, which is Abdul Ghani's uh, mother. And she basically explained to the court that her son was kidnapped when she was taken to New Mexico. She also will be explaining, or prosecutors would rather be explaining, what led to her son's death. And we'll have that story coming up at 6. But for now, reporting in downtown Albuquerque, I'm Andres Valle for KOET Action 7 News. The trial is expected to last a month. Four of the five people have pleaded not guilty.